Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 57 here on the frozen rock. And so today's project is to try to finish this control room. And so uh, kind of the idea is uh, having some uh, uh, LCD panels set up, uh, maybe with, uh, we'll ultimately have some graphs and stuff on them, uh, and then uh, finish out the doors, maybe something in some sort of uh, uh, system here in the middle, uh, along with uh, some desks and things like that to really kind of make this look like it's uh, controlling everything. Might even uh, set up some functions where uh, from here we can have cameras set up around the facility. So uh, we're going to see what we can get done on this today. Uh, I've been mind, uh, drilling this out. Uh, i got to go one more layer up and uh, that's over here. So uh, we'll go ahead and get this one finished. And then uh, I can get the ceiling in. That'll come, and I'll have to take all of this out, so I'm going to have to put uh, grids down below. So, as soon as I get a little farther along, maybe once I get the ceiling in, I'll uh, catch back up with you and give you another update. All right, well, I've got the ceiling all in. I've got to figure out where I'm going to put my lights. As you can see, I ended up uh, getting the scaffolding in. I was able to kind of walk across here and not have to put blocks in over here because I could reach that. So now the trick is, what do I want for lighting? So we are what? Uh, one, two, yeah. Let's go from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so if we go in, uh, and then how many this away? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let me do it over here. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that works out pretty good. So, we come in one block in, say, so if we do a row of lights, like, all right, seven. So a row of lights here, right there, and there. And there, that would be three rows of lights. And if we do them every other space, so one, two, ah, lost count. One, two, three, Energy four, low. I think. All right. Uh, well, shoot. All right, so I am going to, I need to go get energy. Let's go this way. We can get to the medical bay through here. That's one of the nice things of having multiple entrances. And we can get charged up. Uh, and then I need to get some light bulbs and construction components so that uh, we can put those row of lights in. So once I get uh, get those lights laid out and the uh, scaffolding out of the way, I will uh, catch back up with you all. All right, well, I've got the ceiling all in, I got the lights in, I got the scaffolding all out of here. 
Uh, it's now time to start uh, decorating and, and adding uh, what I want to do here in the facility. So, and I've also been uh, uh, in between uh, picking up some more programmable blocks and putting them into the server room. So I only need a couple of more, like one, two, three more programmable blocks. I just can't uh, grab them all at once. Uh, uh, I've got to uh, let my production stay ahead of me, so uh, I'll uh, grab them from time to time and get this finished. And then I'm not sure what else I want to put in down here in the server room. So uh, I'll get these programmable blocks in. Maybe I'll put an LCD panel right here. Maybe I'll put another programmable block right here. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, we're, uh, we're going to get the server room done. So I guess first thing I want to start with is building out these door frames. So putting in just exactly like what you see there with the yellow framing in and around it. And I did grab some uh, uh, steel plates. Uh, can I find where I... Yeah, I think it's right here. I think... Five. Uh, we need to change the color on this. I think it's this color here. Yeah. So, I need to... I think... Yep, there. And then I think... Is it, uh... This one? Yeah, that goes there. And then it goes there. And then I think the other one I want is on this block, which is this one right here, I believe. Well, let's get the right. And that will go there. And then we'll get it on this side. And it will go there. Let's uh, frame frame this door in. There we go. And then all I got to do is paint. Uh, paint the door. Give me just a second here. Let me get this over to the right one. There we go. Then let's paint the door. Oh, I got one more to finish over here. There we go. Yeah. Alright, so let me finish getting this, this other door framed in. And then I'll start getting some uh, accessories built. And then I got an idea for... Well, hopefully I can get it kind of in the center here. But I got an idea for something in there that... Uh, We'll see if I can make it uh, work. So, all right, I'll uh, be back with you here in just a little bit. Okay, well, I've made a little bit of progress down here in the uh, control room. Uh, I've got, uh, I've got uh, this uh, projection set up. And this is, uh, well, shoot. Let me uh, do this. Uh, my ro rotor hasn't been spinning exactly the way I want it to, so let's see what we can do here. What if I reverse it? Maybe. I wonder if I set this to unlimited on both ways. Yeah, that's got it spinning again. There we go. Alright. So, this is spinning ever so slowly. I should try to speed that up a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. Let's uh, hop back in here again. Uh... Rotor control. All right. And let's see if we can speed this up. A little bit. 
bit. Bring the torque up a little. Oh. Bring that down. Slow it down just a little bit. You must have finally broke loose. Well, I don't want to stop it. Ah, oh, come on. All right, we'll go with that. I wonder if it's... Now, I stuck the rotor down in the ground. I wonder if that's causing part of the problem. Uh, the voxels might be rubbing on it. So, for now, anyway, you kind of get the idea. Got a control room here, and we're... Uh, you can study different blueprints and ships and stuff. Uh, same here. Uh, this was a... Uh, uh, defense drone that I had set up. Uh, it was a decoy. Uh, and it's got a single turret in the center. So you kind of, what you do is you kind of place these things out. Uh, it had a, uh, I think, yeah, it has a solar panel on it. So it would give it just enough power with a small battery so that it would run the turret and then you just keep it supplied and you can set that out around your base and uh, uh, if nothing else it's kind of a warning or a defense warning uh, if you've got something inbound coming in so that was kind of a, a just a defense drone or, or decoy that I had set up so I need to finish my panels and I need to decide if I'm going to put a projection onto here. Uh, and then a few more decorative things in here, I guess. Maybe some seats and uh, something that looks more like a lab. And then I also want to try doing a little bit of uh, uh, base surveillance. So uh, I'm going to see if I can't get at least one of those set up today. So, when I have a little bit more done, I will uh, catch back up with here in a little bit. Alright, well I think that's just about going to do it for today. I don't quite have the uh, uh, control room done, but I got quite a bit. So, these are going to be uh, stations that you can <clears throat> look around the base. I'm going to set up cameras and then uh, you'll be able to view the base from that camera's point of view. So we'll have a camera over in the coal production facility and uh, up around the uh, industrial area and over by the uh, energy areas, the windmills, or the wind turbines, and the solar panels and stuff. So we'll have cameras set up around the base. I didn't quite get this all done in here. I still got one left, and I ran out of gold, so I'm going to have to go mine some gold, and I just don't have enough time to do that today. So I'll do that when uh, off camera when I do have some time, and we'll get that back up and going. And... Uh, I still got to decide what I'm going to do for a projection on here. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I got this uh, set up the way I wanted it. Uh, I got a projection going here. This is actually a, uh, a welder that I had uh, built. So it's one of my blueprints. And same with this uh, uh, <coughs> decoy drone. All right. Well, I think that's going to just about do it. Uh, again, uh, we'll get the control room all finished next time around. And then uh, be able to get back up in the daylight a little bit. Uh, I don't think there's anything else left to do down here. The only, the only other thing that I might 
do is uh, maybe set up another escape route, uh, another corridor out through here that, that links into right here. And <clears throat> that would come in from probably set up the escape route maybe out through here. This might be a good block to take out and then uh, just drill out uh, to uh, have a uh, uh, corridor that goes out and then into that corner over on the uh, main hallway. Oh, and I did get a script. I, I just uh, threw in uh, Izzy's solar panel script. So uh, just to have something up here showing. I've got some other scripts that I want to work on and, and get set up and see if I can't get those to uh, display. And I think that'll kind of make the uh, control panel uh, or control room look pretty good. All right. Well, I think that's about going to wrap it up. If you uh, like this video, please hit that thumbs up because it really helps out the video a lot. And uh, if you like the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I appreciate to anybody that subscribes and, and any comments. I'm always looking for comments and feedback. I think that's just about it. All right, space engineers, keep building away out there. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.